We'll take a look at manufacturing routing functionality in NetSuite as part of this video. We'll start by looking at the item assembly master. Then we'll take a look at routing setup uh, in the item itself. We'll take a look at the different steps that we have to configure inside the routing. And then we'll uh, take a look at the work center setup inside NetSuite. We'll start by logging into the application using our credentials here. Username and password. Click on login. And that brings us to our dashboard as usual. Uh, as you can see here, I've logged into the manufacturing rule, which gives me access completely to the manufacturing module, including setup, uh, configurations, work centers, work order, so on and so forth. For our today's example, we're just going to use an uh, example item. I'll enter the item number here. And I'll open up a new tab. As you can see, this item is actually an assembly, or a it has a bill of materials uh, included as part of this assembly setup. The item number is RAK00001. It has some primary information here, like item name, display name, so on and so forth. Some classifications that you can define as part of the item master itself. The units of measure that are applicable to this item. And uh, more importantly, we have the manufacturing setup o on this tab over here. Since this is an assembly item and we're going to manufacture it, it has a bill of material also associated with it. And you can see that as part of the components tab under manufacturing tab over here. You can see that there are certain items which are applicable to it uh, as part of the bill of materials, ply one, ply two, so on and so forth. I'll open this item in the edit mode so we can see a little bit more detail here. Under components, you can see there are several lines here, but however, some lines are obsolete which means these lines were part of the POM earlier, but they have been made obsolete on certain dates. The effective lines are only the lines that are currently in the effective revision C. It is not obsolete yet. Here we can also define the component yield, uh, POM quantity, as well as the item source for these different components inside the POM. If the component is a purchased item, we can define it uh, to be sourced from a purchase order or to be sourced from an existing stock of the item. However, however, if the item, uh, the component itself is an assembly item, there are se several more options available here, where you can define it to be part of uh, a purchase order or to receive it from a stock or to create a work order to receive this component as part of the assembly. The option selected here is phantom, which means uh, whenever the uh, parent item, which is RAK, is assembled, at the time of assembly of the parent item, these child items will also be assembled as part of the same work order. That's why it's called an item uh, as a phantom item source. Uh, next, we'll take a look at the manufacturing routings over here in this tab. And as you can see, there are several routings defined for this uh, parent item, RAK. Uh, currently, we have three, and we can define as one of them to be a default routing. We can also define routings that are applicable to certain locations inside your organizations and you know certain locations can have different routings uh, as you as you may require uh, different raw materials in different locations. I'll open up the default routing here by clicking on edit in new tab. Since this is uh, the ref default routing applicable to the RAK item you can see that the default flag is ticked here. Uh, once this routing is obsolete, you can obviously make it inactive and create a new routing which becomes a default item later on. So certain uh, fields in this uh, screen are mandatory like subsidiary, the item for which this routing is applicable, the name of the uh, routing itself, and the locations where this routing can be used. I can select multiple locations here, but currently only one location is being selected, uh, the San Francisco location. And then we can take a look at the routing steps. Routing steps are nothing but tasks that need to be executed as part of manufacturing the item that we're talking about. 